Well, that coat could blind a man, Clive. A mounted policeman's always on parade. That's great. Here we are in the middle of nowhere, and if your little queen showed up, you'd be ready. Well, ain't that splendid? Being, uh, properly turned out reflects an attitude. Proper state of mind. This isn't just a job for us. We represent the crown. The rule of law over violence. Values that have made Western civilization great. Besides, Assistant Superintendent Taylor is inspecting my post. Oh, oh. Ohio. Oh, Corporal Clyde Bennett, Northwest Mounted Police. Why were those men chasing you? What men? What's the matter with you? Who are you? Does anything besides your head hurt? No. What's your name? He doesn't know his name. Let me talk with him. Oh, yes, Superintendent Taylor is here. He's here? Already? Yes, I met him outside your office. I guess you already heard. What about the two guys you were chasing? I lost them. Good work, Jack. It happens once every decade or so. Oh, no. Now what? My mustache. You ain't got a mustache. That's the point, Jack. And in case you ain't noticed, you ain't got no beard, neither. You want to take a walk? A long walk? All right. No problem. Anything you say, Clyde. Um, 
Corporal Bennett's ready for inspection there. Uh, what, what is that, General? <laughs> and you must be Marshal Craddock. Hmm? That's right. Fascinating. I regret I wasn't here to receive you. At ease, Corporal Bennett, at ease. On patrol, were you, Corporal? Yes, sir. I happened on a man. He was a visitor from Germany. He was being chased by... First, I want to see your patrol report forms. Yes, sir. When the marshal was trailing you, are you sure he didn't get a good look at you and Farrell? Nah, he never saw our faces. I tell you, Vance, we got away clean. You boys behave yourselves. We're gonna play this nice and easy. I knew he couldn't be trusted. You better have that map. Well, you're in good spirits today. There's a fellow German in town. I invited him for a beer later. Maybe we can share some memories. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't these things look familiar to you? They should. We took him off your horse. I don't recognize any of this. He's telling the truth, Jack. He has a condition called amnesia. He has what? Amnesia. A condition whereby the patient suffers a loss of memory, due usually to brain injury, Shock, fatigue, or illness. The only cure is time and rest. Picture of your parents, Corporal? Yes, sir. Well, everything seems correct, Corporal Bennett. Except you have no moustache. I did have one when I first came here, sir. A moustache, neatly trimmed, of course, lends an air of authority and maturity to a young man's face. Yes, sir. Grow one, Corporal. Yes, sir. Why do you find it necessary to share an office with this pack rat? There were no funds available for me to purchase or to build my own outpost, sir. I appreciate that, Corporal. But surely you would have been better off sharing space with a... a barber or a butcher or a... Gents? Anyone want some coffee? You know, I found some interesting things in that there German saddlebags. Looks to me like he's a surveyor or a map maker, something like that. Bet you didn't know that, did you? You going deaf or something? Is he referring to the German citizen brought in this morning, Corporal? Yes, sir. And why is this American interfering in the investigation of an incident that occurred in Canada? Well, sir... Interfering? Now, you just hold on a second there, General. Whatever. Assistant Superintendent Taylor! Whatever! Look, if it weren't for my help, this... Craddock! Corporal Bennett, I want a written report on why this American sheriff... U.S. Marshal. This American Marshal is illegally participating in Canadian law enforcement. Is that completely clear? Yes, sir. Thanks, Jack. You just wiped out my career in the Mounties. Yeah, well, any career that makes you wear a funny hat like that ain't worth it now, is it? Hans. Fritz. 
If I could at least remember my name. <sighs> you had a big shock. Just try and rest. Hmm? You're very kind. Thank you. Um, I found this in the lining of the man's jacket. Look, it marks a place in Montana near Bronos Ferry. And he signed the map. His name is Carl Kohlmeyer. Bronos Ferry? My memory serves me right. There was a big bank robbery there sometime last year. They caught two men, but three of them got away. Never did find the money. This is a Canadian issue, Craddock. Keep your nose out of it, will you? Canadian issue? Look, this has anything to do with that bank robbery in Montana, then it's my issue, it's my territory. I wouldn't be surprised if this map shows where they hid the money and that German was part of the gang. What is this? Sommer, was bist du eigentlich für ein Landsmann? Deutscher ohne Bier ist wie ein Pferd ohne Hafe. That language you just spoke, I heard it before. Of course, it's your language too. It's German. I come from Hamburg, where we speak the best German. Hamburg? I think I've been there. You're shaken up from your accident. It'll come back. Schweinebraten? Schnaps? I'll go get some more beer. Come on, Carl. Carl? Is that my name? Who are you? Don't play stupid. Get up those stairs. Do you mind if I, uh... No. He's gone. He was on the sleep when I left him. Either he got better real quick, or... Uh... Or they got to him first. You got it. Where is it, Carl? Take your hands off me. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's the map? We didn't rob that bank for nothing. Where's the loot? Loot bank? Listen, I don't remember anything. Ask the doctor. I've lost my memory. Here's where he hid the map. We'll look in the doctor's house. For your sake, Carl, I hope it's there. Yeah. Oh. Peters, tie him up. Ich bloß hier. Hallo. Is that uh, German fellow in here with you? German? What German? Carl. The German I brought in. Yeah, yeah. But he disappeared. I don't know what happened. We were having such a good time. Hey. Where'd you get that funny hat, Corporal? Just drop it, Otto. These men, they wanted the card. What? It's German. What happened here? Some men, they tied me up. They wanted the map. Marie found a map in your jacket. Yes, my jacket. The map. Wait a minute. Were you ever involved in a robbery in Montana by any chance? No. How do you know if you can't remember? Well, I'm starting to remember. Yeah, sure. Give him a chance, will you, Jack? I'll tell you what I do remember. These men hid something and paid me to draw a map where they buried it. I did, but then they disappeared before I could give it to them. 
When I saw their faces on a wanted poster, I realized they were the bank robbers. <sighs> the doctors. They went to the doctor's place, quick! It's not here. We searched everywhere. Well, that just leaves one place we haven't locked. Stop right there. If you don't get out, I'll burn it. This has nothing to do with you. Just hand it over. I'm going around the back. You try and reason with them. You're the smart one. I'm getting too old for this job. Might as well drop your guns. Come out with your hands up. Still interfering in Canadian affairs, Marshal. These men are one in the United States, and I've aimed to get them. We gotta get to the horses. Yeah, and how are we gonna do that? With the help of the little lady here. I'm sure our government would look favorably upon your extradition request. You do understand, don't you? Yeah, sure, I do, but they don't believe me. Where is Corporal Bennett? Doing his job, risking his life as usual. What are they doing? Both still out there. Go get the horses when I tell you. If you don't want the lady hurt, throw down your guns! Don't listen up to him! Corporal Bennett is around the other side. That's right. Good. I presume you have a spare weapon about your person somewhere, Marshal? Yes, I think so, sir. Thank you. And where did you learn to throw a punch like that? Corporal Bennett. He was champion boxer in college. Really? Mm -hmm. Permit me to offer you a cup of tea, ma'am. I believe these men now have the situation under control.
and your map will be delivered to the banking authorities in Montana so that they may recover the money that was stolen. Then I'm free to go. Not exactly. Your testimony will be required at the hearing in Fort Walsh at the end of next month. Well, I've got plans to... Like the corporal said, Fort Walsh at the end of next month, and you better be there, all right? Very well. Thank you, corporal. Auf Wiedersehen, Marshal. Now that you know who you are, Carl, we can talk about the old country, huh? Yeah, that's my idea. Corporal Bennett, I have decided to make allowances for the unusualness of this border outpost. Your written report was thorough, but it was the details supplied by Madame Dumont that clarified the situation. Thank you, Madame Dumont. However, in the future, I expect you to be vigilant in your enforcement of Canadian law without gratuitous help from Americans. You can be assured of that, sir. Madame. Sir. Thanks, Marie. <laughs> What'd you tell him? Well, uh... You know, the last time I saw a hat like this was on a monkey in the circus. <laughs> Put it down, Jack. Thank <laughs> you.